Welcome lads. Today I'm building a squad with two players that I pulled in packs that was in a video. They were team of the season, bar and inform, second inform, Rakitic, I think second inform. I don't know if it was third or second, I can't remember. Check in the description if you want to see my live reactions of getting those pack pulls. But without further ado, let's jump into the squad builder. Starting out in goal, we went with Musalera. Really a good goalkeeper, honestly, with that 87 reflexes. Really liked how he played. In centre back, we went with my boy, Cheju. 70 pace, 81 physical, a really good non rare card. Over at right back, we went with Abue, the ex Arsenal legend. Still a pretty good card, I see, that 83 pace. Moving on to the other centre back, I had a lot of options here because I was going Barcelona. I had Mathieu, uh, Mascherano, and PK. And I went with Mathieu, the lowest rated of them all. And I'm really glad I did because he performed really well. Kind of a high pace, I guess, if you look at the stats 76 pace, 82 defending, 81 physical. So it's not really that surprising. He's 6'4 too, so that really helps out. The other defenders are shorter. That's kind of why. Left back, you know, there's really only one option. You've got to go Jordi Alba. I mean, the pace is on another level. 92 pace, 78 physical, 78 defending, 76 physical. Very good player. Moving on to centre mid. This is where the inform comes. Ivan Rakadish. There you see, bought for first owner. 72 pace, 86 shooting, 94 passing, 87 dribbling, and 75 physical. Like the stats really just fly off the board with that 86 shooting and 94 passing and 87 dribbling. I will say, and I'll talk about it later, I think that I chose the wrong formation because I feel that this guy wasn't up enough as the other centimeters. It was really weird. Like, if you look at his uh, work rate, they're good. I mean, he's got the three star weak foot, three star skill moves. Like, it's not really a problem. It's really kind of strange. Moving on to the other centre mid, one of my favourite um, players in all of Ultimate Team. He's actually a cam. Let's just get right on that. His name is Wesley Schneider. Like, this guy is an absolute boss. I've used his second in form card before and it's just so good. His regular card is just as good. None of this left wing crap. His first in form is left wing. It's just, oh, can't play my left wing. You know, he's got the 75 pace, the 80 shooting, 87 passing, 84 dribbling, 5 star weak foot. That's what really stands out with this card, is the 5 star weak foot. Because shots just go in most of the time. And the other centre mid, I think he's, a, I think he's actually a CDM. It's his uh, Galatasaray teammate, Felipe Mello, who also has an inform, but not a bad card really. Now let's move to the front three. But let's start out with the main man of the show, along with Ivan Rakitic. It's team of the season, Demba Bar. He's got 82 pace, 87 shooting, 70 passing, 82 dribbling, and 84 physical. Packed him, fought for first owner, three star weak foot, and three star skill moves. He was an okay player, honestly. He didn't do anything that stood out. There are better strikers out there, but he was a fun player to use. And, uh, you know, he wasn't bad. He's got decent work rates. He's strong. He's tall. He's really got everything. He's got good shooting. That's what I'll say. And his pace is good enough. Moving on to left forward. Went with a little sweaty number. I think he's a left wing, but bear with me because I'm not 100% sure on that. His name is Bruma. Get in. 91 pace. That's all you really need to know about this guy. And the last player of the squad builder. He's a player that I really, really like. And he's low rated. He's non-rare. But it's a card I really like, and I think he's a right wing, because he wouldn't be a right mid, would he? Because then he'd be a low cam. Um, boom, Torre. Torre, I don't know. I really like, there's something about this guy that I really like. Like, he's got the four star weak foot. He's got the four star skill moves. He's got decent pace. He's got, every stat is kind of okay. Decent dribbling. Like, he's a really good player. If you haven't used him, and you've got a Turkish squad, I would definitely check him out. Anyways, that's the team. Now let's jump into the game. The guy I came up against had a pretty good team, honestly. A kind of a weird team. Some sweaty players in there, like Opara and Onua. Some team of the seasons. Just a pretty good team. But I was pretty convinced that this team would be good enough. And right from the off, I play it into Demba Bar. Makes one guy miss. Plays in Torre, who gets fouled. And it should be a penalty, and it is a penalty. Great little fake shot from Demba Bar to set Torre on his way. Torre. I really like that Torre card. I've used him before, and I've always felt that he was a really good player. I think in my Turkish squad builder, 
and once again he performed pretty well in this game i mean he gets fouled there he probably would have scored honestly if he wasn't fouled so you can't really fault him for that and a penalty i mean should be able to score this i'm pretty sure denver bar will be taking this and he is uh we're gonna look at who else we could look at though but there's really no one else denver bar green it he's gonna bang it and it was one nil after 18 minutes and i was uh little worried about this team because the guy I was playing against was a very good player. He had good players and he was not a bad player at all. And just watch what he does here with Harry Kane. Harry Kane is such a good player. I did a review on him earlier and it's in the description if you want to check it out. He's so good. He's so much better than Diego Costa. Boom. And Denver Bar almost scores. <laughs> Another great shot for him. Denver Bar was a really standout performer. The other like special player on this team, Ivan Rakitic, has pull up another penalty before half time just really did not play well honestly he made a few good passes but he was not doing it i mean maybe i played him in more an advanced role because he's in that four three in the midfield and it's not really that good for him but he just didn't do anything he wasn't pushing up forward like schneider felipe Melo. that was who got the penalty there was felipe Melo. like no one out he was the only one that was pushing up it was really strange then denver bar gets another penalty here and he just banged it bottom corner He's just not going to save that. Denver Bar was a very good player, but nothing special, I would say. Like, I didn't think he was that great. And right before half time, I get kind of lucky here, and it falls to Schneider. And when it falls to Schneider, there is no missing, as my phone goes off. <laughs> like, Schneider just don't miss shots. Like, seriously, when it comes to here, actually, there is a chance Schneider has later, where it's just weird. But most of the time, Schneider's shooting is incredible. Half time, he was a good player. He was taking a lot of long distance shots. I will say that about him. But pretty even, you know, four shots on target, um, four total shots. Then he decided to bring on Theo Walcott. Yeah. And I'm thinking that it was that special Walcott, you know, the striker Walcott. And I was like, oh my God, that card looks amazing. And he also bought on Marco Verratti. And I was starting to think that maybe he was the team of the season card. So he was getting a better team. And I was up 3 0. And honestly, you know, when you're up 3 0 or something, you do kind of not play as well as you should because you know you're not pressing for a goal or anything and that's kind of how i felt in this game and this is what i was talking about schneider earlier you know he gets through and he's not really pressured yeah there's guys around him but for a shot to come off that badly like this is the one good thing ivan rakitic did and i'm starting to think that if he was just more involved he probably would have done more great things that was a great little fake shot and you know great pass theo here is just bursting through like there is no tomorrow and I, this card, oh my days. I love his regular card, but if I could get a hold of that Theo card, you can't buy him and packing him. I tried to pack him. That didn't work out for me. And he just plays in Bruma here. Another great pass from Rakitic. Like, that was the thing. He just wasn't involved enough. Picks it up to Denver Bar, and uh, I'd like you to put that on target, me. Like, I know that's a lot to ask for, but still. I didn't think that team was that good, honestly. Looking back on it, there were a few players that stood out but not the two special players of the squad builder, Ivan Rakitic and Demba Bar. Anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, catch me on Twitter, at FIFA Wisdom, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.